All new at five, one of Netflix's popular shows chronicles the life of Wisconsin serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer. The show gets into his 17 victims. One was a deaf Milwaukee man named Tony Hughes, whose family now lives in Arkadelphia. In an exclusive interview, Hughes' niece sat down with our Andrew Epperson. And Andrew, she agreed to speak with you on one condition. One condition, that condition, no talking about Dahmer. Tony Hughes' niece, Consuela Hunter, says her uncle was many things, a dancer, aspiring model, and all-around joy to be around. She doesn't want his legacy to be tied to Dahmer, which she says the Netflix series seems to do. If you've watched the new Jeffrey Dahmer series on Netflix, you know Tony Hughes. But Consuela Hunter really knows Tony Hughes, the deaf Milwaukee man was her uncle. Did you learn sign language so you could talk to him? I learned how to speak with him through alphabets, through A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Hunter was in her early teens when Dahmer murdered Hughes more than 30 years ago. She and Hughes's family now live in Arkadelphia. He's just all around caring, fun, energetic guy. The two of you were really close. I always say if he was still living to this day, I would be in a much better place. Life's not been easy for Hunter or the rest of Hughes's family. She says people keep fictionalizing the murder. The Netflix series is just the latest example. We've dealt with that for so many years. We just wanted to just, just cease, you know. Hunter agreed to this interview only if we didn't talk about Dahmer. When things happen, everyone glorified him. It's time for my uncle, Tony, Anthony Hughes to be glorified. On Facebook, Hunter made sure that happened, challenging people to post this emoji, a powerful message in sign language. I love you, you know, so that, that's where it started from. The post racked up thousands of likes and more than 25,000 shares. It, it blew me by storm. I, I never in a million years expected that. Hunter says the series doesn't tell Hughes's whole story and hopes people honor his memory and his family, two fingers and one thumb at a time. That lets me know that my uncle is touching lives. He's still touching lives. Hunter says Netflix didn't reach out to Hughes' family before going ahead with the series. She says they would have liked more input on how Hughes should be portrayed. Live in studio, Andrew Epperson, KARK 4 News.